Sun Valley has always been a really special place for me. Spent summers learning how to mountain bike in Adams Gulch with my dad. Just love the tight knit community and the access to adventure sports, mountain biking, backcountry skiing. It's all within back doors distance. It's just a really healthy lifestyle. My name is Cassie Abel. I live here in Sun Valley, Idaho. The bike community has really grown in Sun Valley since I was a little kid. 400 miles of single track here, you know, riding distance from town, and then another 350 miles of single track just over Galena Pass. An under-recognized mountain bike community, and it is absolutely thriving. We met at Sturt events at five. Loading up the pink ferry to head up to Edge of the World in Oregon Gulch for a couple early morning turns with Gabe Schroeder, Corey Smith, and Ben Verge, along with Sturt Events owner Ulan Glenn. I mean, the light was insane, it's summer solstice, full moon, can't be beaten. Now we're back at Sturt Events, one of the oldest businesses in Sun Valley. Hey, Ulan. I'm the owner here at Sturt Events and Sun Valley Mountain Guides. The way you can adventure from here I think is pretty unique. When you're a mile out of town, you're really on an adventure. You know, almost all of the trails in town are open to mountain biking. The community's done a good job, I think, of balancing that. The Wood River Bike Coalition has been instrumental. Elephant's Perch and Bob Rosso. Whether it's Sturt Events here, the former owner Rob Santa, Greg Randolph, Chopper, he's been a number of key players. Again, it's kind of a community effort. You know, we can send you in the right direction of a great trail, and after that, maybe hit catch them alive. Everybody shows up on their bikes, and it's just a great melting pot of crazy locals. It's another beautiful day here in Sun Valley. We're here at the base of Bald Mountain. We're headed off to meet Julian Tayo, Sun Valley's Summer Trails Coordinator. Hey, guys. How's it going? I've known Julian for quite a while. Really instrumental to pr promote and support mountain biking. He's been really pushing through the plans and working really hard to work with all the entities involved. Uh, my name is Julian Tayo. I'm the Summer Trails Coordinator here at Sun Valley Resort. We're fully approved by the BLM and Forest Service for all 17 miles of trail that we propose. About six miles into building that out, looking forward to adding those connector pieces that will really make this thing, you know, we know it can be. And, finish the machine built trail network, but then starting to stitch those together with some more organic single track type experiences. I think that as a community, we're really starting to come together and you know, give ourselves a voice and say, hey, this is what we want. You know, be stewards of our own experience out here. Father says the same and a man go down that path. Galena Lodge area and Galena Yurts, an especially favorite spot in the winter. It's a stop on the way home from pretty much every backcountry ski. I don't think either of us realized what a piece of the community this lodge and this place are. We're up here at Galena with Amanda Cordell, who's a professional downhiller, and Mike Stemp, who's a teacher in town and a ripping mountain biker. The sing song way you What's better than hanging out with a bunch of friends around a campfire, sleeping in a yurt? Literally, we just rolled onto our bikes and onto the trail, which was about 10 feet from our yurt. In the last four years, maybe, mountain biking has really taken off. There's some new trails that just opened very, very into last fall, right across the road, that they're going to be adding onto those as well. You know, more to come. There's probably going to be about eight or nine more miles ideally completed this summer. It's an opportunist community for outdoor activities. The bike community is, is strong. All the events that go on are growing and it's been really fun to watch it. We're closing out an awesome week here in Sun Valley, Idaho, checking out the kickoff event for Ride Sun Valley. So now we're going to go try to find Chopper, Greg Randolph, who's the godfather of the event. So I'm Greg Randolph. Uh, we're here at the Ride Sun Valley Sheeptown Drag Race. The Sheeptown Drag Race was just some wild idea. Five years ago, I was given a job that allowed me the opportunity to turn 
Sheep Town into a bigger festival, a Rides and Valley Bike Festival, because I always felt like this was an area that had the kind of racing and riding opportunity and community that would really thrive if it had a spotlight. The Mountain Sports International came in and uh, helped us organize a proper enduro race. Uh, we've got a cross country race, the Fox Trap 40. All the bars and restaurants are hopping, and bike culture everywhere. And this is really one of the coolest places you can imagine to come and ride bikes. Yeah, when it gets dark, we light the logs on fire. Then it's anyone's guess. You know, I think we're going to continue to see organic growth of the excitement and, you know, like that word of mouth and the authenticity of the place. That's going to grow on itself. Our trail inventory is improving all the time. You know, it's its own kind of animal. It's like what a lot of places used to be, and I think it's kind of what it always will be. Yeah, it looks like I'm scavenging, scavenging through vertebrae.